Hey guys, it's Wendy, AKA Kitty Street, and welcome back to my channel. I have an Aldi haul for you guys, and I'm gonna do it with my laryngitis situation going on. I hope it don't affect anything too much. Um, I had to do this haul because I need to use some of these items. They're related to Halloween, and Halloween is like right around the corner. And whether my voice is gonna participate or not, we're gonna get through this. As I get to going, I think it'll get better. I do have me a little drink that I got from the Dollar Tree that's called the Witch's Brew. Delicious, $1.25. I highly recommend it to anybody. It is it tastes like a caramel apple if you like that kind of thing. With that said, <clears throat> thank you once again for coming out and hanging out with me today. I hope everybody is doing good. And I wanna jump right on into this Aldi grocery store haul. And I have done a few little decorations and some of these things are for me to do festivities for this weekend. So the first thing I wanna show you guys that I get repeat by is this Aldi hamburger meat. Um, it's made of the product of USA. And this one is the 73% lean, 27% fat. And man, I hear my voice, it sounds so bad. But um, yeah, guys, I don't know what it is with Georgia allergies, but man, it's kicking my behind. But um, this used to be about $15, $16. Go back and check out my hauls earlier in the year. $20.66 for five pound, four, 5.4, five pounds of ground beef. Unheard of, but I needed this because I needed some ground beef for some things that I'm gonna be making. I needed, I had a, needed a lot of ground beef. So I always get a big pack like that and um, cut it in four to six packages and freeze it in the freezer and, and go from there. Then another thing that I got, <clears throat> repeat by goodness gracious, the things we do for our haul, um, is this Castleberry or Castlewood, I always call it Castleberry, Castlewood Reserve smoked honey turkey breast. Now they're in a little smaller containers but they have the exact same amount of um, ounces as 16 ounces or one pound. I love, love, love this stuff. $5.49 for each of these. I do buy one and keep one in the freezer because they never have the um, honey smoked turkey. They have the ham, they have the chicken, and they have all different ones. But this one is my favorite. So when I saw it, I picked up two of these. Still the $5 range but it's well worth it. It lasts me a long time. So when I see these, I pick them up. Um, I also got this big old, um, let me make sure I get club size. <laughs> oh my gosh. I put it this way, club size. Um, it's 30 rolls, willow premium, thick and soft, um, septic tanks. It's um, two ply. I buy this, this was $18.45. The reason why I picked this up is because each one of these has is wrapped. Um, I just happen to love when I have these toilet papers because you can buy them at the bigger, like at Sam's or Costco's. But this one, they're like, you get six of these and they're individually wrapped. I really appreciate that because I might go through toilet paper real fast and sometimes I go through it, um, you know, it takes me a while. So I was getting low. This is the best price I could find for toilet paper, $18 for 30 rolls. Now it is thick. Um, where I live at, I do have a sump pump and a septic tank, and I don't really like to use the thicker one, but in this case, for this price, I went with it. It was good. Okay, let me give you a couple of seasonal things. Well, let me do this. Let me do the, the things I gotta get back into the refrigerator. All right, I did get, <clears throat> excuse me, one of these, um, whipping toppings, um, they were 99 cents. I usually get them from the Dollar Tree for $1.25, but I saw this for a dollar for 99 cents, so I went ahead and grabbed it because I am going to be making a small dessert. I think I'm gonna do it on camera um, and put it out hopefully before the next couple of days um, of what I call my Oreo pie, and I'll be showing you some more ingredients in there. So I needed one of these because I'm not making a big one for a family, I'm just making a small one. This again was 99 cents. I always repeat buys, get this sour cream um, by um, Friendly Farms, and I also get the French onion. I'm not really doing dates because I really need to get this video done, but they go to December on this one of 2023 and December 14th and December 21st. So they have a good shelf life, but 
these go really fast. I absolutely adore this, this um, French onion dip, which I do. I also picked up a tub of this margarine for my family that I cook with for them. It's that countryside creamery, $4.55. It still was the best around. I've used this over the years. Um, this will last me a long time because the other one I got was this, I think it was called, it's not like butter or something like that, and I did not like it. So I'm glad I picked up this country creamer. It's almost like the, the dupe of the um, country crock. Um, and I kind of like the square um, container. I've always done that, four dollars fifty-five cents. I got this one for me. This is the countryside creamery as well but it's an olive oil and sea salt, spreadable butter. This is what I try to use for myself. Um, I do use that as well, but this is my fave and it's that whipped one. So it's not like the hard butters that I buy, which I didn't buy any at this trip because I have like three um, six packs or six um, counts of the, um, or four counts actually in my refrigerator. So I didn't need any butter. So I got this and this was $3.49. So yeah, $4.55 and $3.49 butter is, is not cheap. And then I did pick up two cream cheeses. And again, this wasn't cheap either. These are that Happy Farms. Um, these were $1.39 a piece. I remember we used to get them for 50 cents, 59 cents. Inflation, man, I'm telling you, what are we gonna do? What are we going to do? Comment, let me know if your um, Aldi grocery store has jacked their prices up too. I'm just curious. I haven't been to Aldi in a couple of months because I was determined, guys, and I mean determined, to go through my pantry and what I had in my, my reserves because I had so much prepper food, um, you know, and it was going, you know, getting to the expiration dates or getting towards the period of where I didn't want to, you know, chance it. So I was determined for the last couple months to eat up what I had. And then I got down to where I needed to make a run for um, a couple of little festivities, for a little festivity um, get together I'm gonna do. And I wanted to pick up some seasonal things and I needed some, you know, odds and ends like breads and things like that so aldi here i came wow two months you blew my mind okay let's talk about bread um love bagels bagels are one of my kryptonites i have a lot of kryptonite foods um when i eat a lot of bagels i, I have issues um where it constipates me <laughs> i don't know any other way to say it but i um one of them i've been craving some bagels so i got the mini ones and I'm going to, um, me and my daughter, my son will eat all these, but I just wanted, I just had a taste for some mini bagels. And that's why I bought that cream cheese as well. These were $2.49. And again, um, I'll probably do like two at a time. Um, maybe one at a time, we shall see. And I do happen to um, gravitate to the plane. They had um, the multi-bagel ones and all the other ones, the cinnamon ones, but I do like the plain. Now, I did pick up another loaf of bread, even though I just bought some at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. Um, but again, it's getting to be um, fall time. For some reason, I'm making more grilled cheeses. I make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for my grandson. This is that Lovin' Fresh um, Classic White, and it was $1.29. Um, this used to be 50 cents. I was like, what happened to the 50 cent bread? Oh gosh, I can't believe it. You know, another repeat thing is always I get these Roma tomatoes. Um, they were 89 cents a pound and I don't have my receipt. I thought I did. I must've took it out and put it somewhere. But I wanna say this was a $1.76 for, I bought a bunch. I bought actually more than I normally do because I have a lot of recipes that I needed some tomatoes. And I just go with these because they're easier to maintain. And to me, they don't go as bad. And I'm also wanting to use these little, um, Veggie, ba veggie bags I got from the Dollar Tree. I want to start testing them to see if they keep them a little bit longer before they go too, too ripe. Okay, another repeat buy. <clears throat> Bear with me, guys. It's not that long. I don't have a lot of stuff, but I just want to get this done. Um, is this Berry Hill chocolate flavored syrup. Now, this was $1.99, um, and it is a large one. It's 24 ounces. The last one I bought of this, I bought a small one at the Dollar Tree. Um, it was like half the size. I think it was like eight ounces for $1.25. Um, I don't even remember the name. I think it was called Kent's. Now my grandson, he sometimes will buy almond milk or um, not almond milk, soy milk. My daughter, he's, not, he's lactose intolerant. So what happens is she'll get the, she'll mess around and get the one that's not flavored and he won't have nothing to do with it, but that stuff's expensive. So I did go ahead and grab 
another one of these chocolate ones because I will flavor it with that if she brought it to me. That happened to me one time and he would not drink it. And I mean, poor thing, I don't, I don't blame him. I don't think I would drink it either. But I had some little chocolate syrup and I just poured it. <laughs> and I'm not saying that's the greatest, but it got me through what I needed to. Plus I will use this sometimes just to mix my own chocolate drink or if I need to like some chocolate topping for something. Um, it's not the greatest in calories, has a lot of sugar, but for $1.99, it was a lifesaver for me. I did get a gallon of milk, and of course, I didn't bring it over here, and I'm not going to go grab it. It was $2.22. I won't forget that. And I did get the whole milk um, because I do have several recipes uh, that I'm going to need milk, um, Some a lot of recipes, actually, that I'm going to be doing in the next couple of days. And I needed a gallon of milk because a gallon of milk could sometimes hit or miss with me. Sometimes it lasts, sometimes it doesn't. Now, true story, I think it was two hauls back, or it's a while back when I went to Aldi, I bought some um, raw shrimp in the little circle thing. Matter of fact, I am gonna get that, I'm gonna grab the milk. So take a look at this cocktail sauce, I'll be right back, just hold on, I got it right here. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Okay, so I wanted to show you this. I bought this and it's been in my freezer for months and I kept forgetting about it because it was hidden behind some other stuff that was in my freezer. On my side-by-side, -side, it's terrible. <laughs> so I have no idea how this is gonna be because usually I'll buy these and we, they're gone like the next day or two. Well, this has been in my freezer. When I saw it, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's that shrimp that I bought back in the day and forgot about it. So I'm gonna take it out this is gonna be one of those snacky kind of things that I'm gonna do for following Halloween. I don't wanna call it Halloween, but the week, all next week, cause this is hopefully gonna go out the weekend before Halloween, I'm, I'm trying. Um, that's why I couldn't wait for my voice to get better. So guys, sorry, it is what it is, real life. But yes, I got this and I needed some real cocktail sauce. The last couple times I bought the sugar-free one and I just did not like it. So I bought this Berman's cocktail sauce. Um, by the way, this was $7.99 when I bought it back in. It was still $7.99 at the stores today. Um, this cocktail sauce was $1.49. Um, I've had it a couple times. I will chill it and I will put it in. A, and they do have a little bit here, but it's never enough. And I'll refill it here for the people that are coming over to visit with me. But I just <laughs> had to show you that yeah, I completely forgot about it. Comment, let me know if you're side by side of your refrigerator. You find stuff and you're like, man, I forgot about that months later and had no intention to do it. And yeah, I grabbed the milk. It goes out on um, November the 9th. So I picked up one of these and it's the um, Friendly Farms whole milk, 222. Um, like I said, sometimes I will, my grandson doesn't drink whole milk, so it doesn't go fast. If, we, if I don't have recipes or, or casseroles or something I'm specifically using, which is just something I'm about to show you that I also remember I bought it for, it could go bad real, real, real fast. All right, I will show you the seasonal stuff towards the end. Something I did want, and I just saw these, and I thought, I want this. Um, craving time, big time. Um, this is the Seasons Choice Gourmet Onion Rings, um, and they're sliced. It's not a huge bag. It's 16 ounces. I'm actually going to put these in the air fryer or maybe the deep fryer. I haven't really decided. You can do it in the oven or the air fryer, but I do have a deep fryer. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. But when we have our little um, party thing I'm going to do, I think I'm going to make these um, and put them out. And I'm going to eat some of them myself because I've just been wanting a few. I haven't had onion rings in so long. This is one of my um, uh, kryptonites as well. Um, but yes, this was $3.79. It was in one of those sections of new items. And I think it even says new somewhere on it. Or maybe it was just a, a sign up that said new. Um, never had these. But I do love that they say filled to frozen. So we shall see. I thought that I had to have that. All right, I did pick up a couple of um, canned goods, not many, because I wouldn't even go in to shop. I went in to buy five things that came out with $125 worth of stuff, which is crazy town. But I did buy these Casamamitas diced tomatoes, which is like a dupe of the Rotel. Um, these were 89 cents a piece because I am making what I call my Rotel dip. Um, with um, sausage. I don't use the ground beef on the one that I make. I love it with sausage. So I got two cans of these because I wasn't sure if I had any or not. And I also bought um, the chips. 
let me tell you, I bought some chips. I already had one bag I didn't know to go with it. And then I bought the um, cheese, which guys, I know this isn't the greatest cheese there out there, but this right here um, is that Clancy's. And I happen, and I don't know if it's just my taste buds, but I like this better than I like Velveeta. I, Velveeta has some kind of taste to it to me and I don't always care for it. So I've been using this for years and it was, I remember when it was $1.99, now it's, this particular box was $4.79. But I'll use half of it and make some Rotel dip and the other half I'll probably put in some, I'm trying to make some broccoli cheese casserole I think with it. So I'm gonna have multiple uses for it. Um, and I might even do um, a small thing of nachos. I haven't thought, but I did get these. This was $4.79 if I didn't say. Um, these, um, I like the round ones. Um, sometimes I'll get the dippers, but I wanted the round ones for this. I got multiple bags of these, but there are one of them over there. Um, and it was a dollar twenty-five. Okay, so a dollar twenty-five for the chips for the Rotel dip. And then um, some, I did get some chips and dips. Um, there goes my drink. Um, I did get some chips and dip. Um, these chips to go with that dip. And I also think these were Crazy Town. They were two dollars and forty-nine cents. And I was like, really? Are, how did the chips go from being like 89 cents to 249? I'm running out of space to put everything. That's what's happening. Okay, so I did get, these are the only cans that I got of vegetables and that's the sweet peas because that's the only thing I ran out of. I've got tons of corn. I've got tons of um, uh, green beans and I have all kinds of veggies to make vegetable soup but I had no peas. So these were 89 cents and I don't normally do that. Usually they're 69 cents but I went ahead and picked up three of them because I know I'm gonna be needing some peas pretty soon. Um, and I got three cans for that for 89 cents. I thought it was a pretty, um, I wasn't gonna do it, but I needed it. And then another repeat buy is this um, Shells and Cheese, which is by Cheese Club. Um, these were actually a little bit cheaper. They were $1.25. The last time I got them, I think they were $1.49. So I went ahead and got two of them because my kids love, love, love these. And they're a quick dinner to a quick dinner side for me to use. And then most of the seasonal stuff I will do now. Um, I just was in a mood to buy stuff for the holiday. I used to always um, have a big party. This is the first year that I'm not having a big party. Or when I say a big party, I'd have my family over, decorate my whole house, which I do have a few things in this room but I'm having renovations done. I'm having some repairs done. I'm having a lot of outside work done. And so I was keeping things to a minimum because I do plan on doing a big fall autumn thing. And I wanna keep it up to like Thanksgiving. And then I wanna hit Christmas because I'm gonna put up two Christmas trees. And I know I'm digressing um, from this thing and I really don't wanna spend a lot more time on this video. I wanted to get it out so I can get cooking. But I just wanna kinda of give you an idea of it. It's kinda of feeling kinda of bummed out. So I had to go and just, do my old things and look what they have at Aldi during the season time for fall and Halloween. So one of the first things that I found, now this isn't something I've tried before, but I've tried something similar, um, is this maple pecan pie. That sounds so delicious. I love pecan pie, 12 pods. Now I have been using pods and I use the grounds, um, but when I saw this for a seasonal price, it was $4.19. And I know that might be a lot for four, for 12 of them. But if you have a Keurig or a knockoff um, and you need a quick thing real fast, I think this is a winner winner. Um, the, the one I used to buy that they didn't have anymore, I can't even, it was, it was something like caramel pecan. I'll remember and I might put it in the little description, but this one I think is a little bit different. It's a different packaging for sure. And I cannot wait to try it. It's Barissimo coffee, 12 cups. Um, maple pecan pie, that just sounds so good. Another thing that I splurged on, and I don't even drink this, are these Fantas. Okay, there's six packs of Fantas, and oh my, my voice, oh goodness. And they zero sugar, that was what drew me to them, zero sugar, and it's got um, a little, you know, a little bat and glow in the darks. These were 319, and I'm going to try one. Instead of um, drinking Coke Zero, I might just go ahead and put these in some ice um, or in a little cooler and come out and try one on camera and let you know. Um, like I said, I don't drink Fanta a lot, but it just says zero calorie mystery flavor. So I don't even know if it's gonna be an orange one or a grape Fanta or a pineapple Fanta. So that kind of got me there when it said the mystery 
flavored sodas, six of them. They're not that big, 7.5 ounces, um, no carbs, no sugars, 45 sodiums. Um, what does it say for calories? Does it have the calories? Zero calories, says zero sugar. So I thought this was something I would try um, and we shall see. Another thing that I picked up were these Reese's peanut butter cookies with the um, little Reese's pieces in them because I'm going to put them out because I am going to do a couple of baking, but I'm not baking any cookies for this. I'm going to wait and bake cookies more for Christmas and Thanksgiving. Um, these were marked down to $3.89. Um, they were $4.49, so of course I see something marked down, I gotta have it. So I went ahead and grabbed these. Uh, they look delicious, Reese's Pieces in there, $3.89. I thought that was cool. And sticking to the theme of Reese's Pieces and why I bought the milk is they have these Reese's, um, limited edition Reese's Puff Bats by General Mills. And I was like, you know, I know they're going to be expensive because when I go to Walmart or, or any of those big chain food stores, grocery stores, even this small bat, this which is 11.5 ounce box, could be three, four, five dollars. And I'm not kidding you, they have jacked cereal up too. So I looked at the little um, tag and I love the back of this. Look at this, it just looks so, you know, seasonal appropriate if you're into Halloween and bats and things like that. They were marked down, or I don't know, they were on sale, if you want to call that. For, from $4.49 to $2.79. So I didn't buy not one, but about two of them. I may even have a bowl of cereal. I haven't had, had cereal in a long time like this. My son absolutely loves the Reese's Puffs, um, the regular. And last but not least, because my alarm went off because it's telling me my cooking days are over. I, I mean, my video needs to get over so I can get busy. I bought this Oreos Booze. Um, so these right here, I thought were something I get every year. And this is what I'm gonna make my Oreo pie in. Now, when I make your Oreo pie, you can use any kind. You don't have to have Oreos. You can actually use the knockoff or the store brand. It doesn't matter, it tastes the same. But because I wanted the orange ones and these do come out in the orange, and you can kind of see like it looks there. Um, these are not cheap. They were $4.58. Um, and yeah. <laughs> I wasn't going to get them, but I thought, yep, I'm going to make that Oreo pie, and I'm going to do it for you guys. I'm going to make it happen. It's going to happen. I might even put it in this video. Let's see. But I also um, thought that this deal and this deal was something to run home and tell you guys about. Because Aldi, you know, they have good stuff, but when they do things on sale, like $2.79 for this kind of name brand. Now, this was $4.58. It wasn't the best deal, but it will suffice. I think they're doing doggone good. Okay, guys, with that said, that is my Aldi haul update. Um, I spent over $100, didn't get a lot of stuff, but got stuff that I needed. And until the next one, hopefully my voice will be better. And yeah, I hope everybody is going to have a fantastic Halloween. If you celebrate that, be safe, and I will see you in another video real, real, real soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.